Hey everyone, welcome to the Heather and Hannah show. And Hannah is going to say hello to everybody now and give everyone some wise words of wisdom. Wise oh, words of wisdom, it's a little redundant. Hannah. Hi, hi everybody. Um, words of wisdom, just be yourself and don't be afraid to do that, I guess. It's my oh, word it. of wisdom that came to my mind in a second. So. I like it. I totally put you on the spot. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I love that. Be yourself and... Whatever anyone thinks, it's not your business. Let them have their thoughts. So I added my own little bit on that, I guess. There you go. <laughs> Boom. Um, all right. We don't have to do today's episode. We're done. <laughs> uh, although it, uh, the Heather and Hannah show wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be a bona fide Heather and Hannah show if we didn't do some kind of centering. So let's do that. Sounds good. So when you're ready, you can go ahead and close your eyelids and bring your attention and bring it inward. And we're going to just do this gratitude thing. Like, so often we focus on all that we don't have and we can compare ourselves, especially on social media, to others. And that all these great things that so-and-so has that I don't have and blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, we all have amazing things going on in our lives. We all have blessings, and we just don't recognize them for the most part. So let's just take a couple minutes and connect in our hearts. And just think about the things that we really appreciate. It could be a person in our life. Um, or it could be a thing, or it could be a circumstance, or it could be something about yourself that you really appreciate. So maybe just pick like two or three things that you're really grateful, grateful for in your life, and then we'll share those. And as always, these things are easy to tap into when our mind is quiet and still, and we're just present in the now listening. So if thoughts about this morning or things that are going to happen later take you out of the present moment, you can just let go of those thoughts and focus your attention on bringing forward some things that you're so grateful for. And we'll share after we're done. Okay, so when you're ready, you can go ahead and take a deep breath and bring your attention and bring it outward. And stretch if you feel like it. And then, um, do you want to do it where like each of us, we go back and forth and share one thing? Sure, that sounds good. Okay, cool. Do you want me to do it first? Sure. Okay. Um, well, one thing I'm really thankful is that, like, I have my buddy Gideon, my cat, and that, like, I've had animals before where, like, they aren't, like, the friendliest or they aren't, like, your person. They're just, like, there. But he's, like, he loves me and he's playful and, like, always there for me. So I'm happy I have my little buddy. Can I see him? I haven't seen him in a few weeks. I know he's growing. Yeah, using the litter box. I'll show him to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's hold off <laughs> um yeah it's, it's neat that you said that because one of the things that came from is for is potty you know she is an amazing dog i got her when she was eight weeks old um and she's just been like the best companion ever and she's like so always excited to see me whenever i get home and it's just just a really sweet connection of unconditional love. She wakes me up, or she puts her two paws on my bed every morning, like, it's time to get up, it's time to get up. And she wakes me up and she's just always there for me. So that's one of mine too. Our furry friends, man, they're awesome. It's so they, nice to have them. Yeah. Um, 
Okay. And then another thing I was thankful for is uh, just school. Like I did well. I made the dean's list last semester, which for me was like wow. really challenging because it was all online and I do not do well with online classes. I don't do well without teachers in person. Like I can ask questions to and stuff. So I'm just happy that like I did well mm -hmm. in that. Hopefully I don't have to do quite to the extent of that again, but. <laughs> Congratulations, that's a huge accomplishment. Thank you. Yay, Anna. Yeah. Oh, you didn't tell me that. That's, that's great. I found that last night RIT released it. So. Ah. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so one, what came forward for me in terms of um, being grateful is I, I've been watching um, this Netflix called Lennox Hill and it's all about this hospital and, and you know the surgeons and their job and they see all these sick people and it just occurred to me yesterday when I was watching like I am so lucky that I'm I'm healthy you know and that I can you know we're doing great work um and the, you know Courageous Hearts is is bringing really great work to the world I feel like we're making a difference and I couldn't do I can participate at all you know if knock on wood if I was sick you know like I'm I'm healthy um and my body's strong I'm, I'm I feel like I'm thriving I feel great um and I feel really lucky about that I'm really grateful that's awesome yeah me too I realize sometimes how like I take it for granted that like I'm fine and healthy and it's a good thing to be thankful for definitely yeah so is Giddy done with the litter box? Yeah, he just jumped on me. Here. Here's Giddy. There he is! Hey, buddy! He's oh, gotten he's, really big. He is getting so much bigger. I remember when he was like this, this big. He's like this tiny. How old is he now? Um, like 12 weeks. Oh. He's like three months old. So he's getting older. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's an old man. <laughs> <laughs> All of three months, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Well, this was good. This was good. Um, shall we get to work? Sounds good. All right. Thanks for sharing your, your gratitude. Two items on your gratitude list with me. Yeah, of course. <laughs>